Hey guys, thanks for joining me today. I'm Mark, this is Fagaber Backpacking, and today we're out here trying out a new food. So this is right on Trek, and this is their broccoli beef stroganoff. Uh, they come in different sizes, one person, two person, or three person. I've got a one person here, and uh, so we're gonna talk a little bit about it and cook this thing up. So I'm gonna get everything set up and ready to go. So let's go. All right, so here's what we've got. Here's the package. You can take a good look at that. Made in Montana, made in small batches, uh, cooks in seven minutes. Now, this is a little bit different than some of the other meals out there in that you're cooking it once and not it's not a meal that's cooked and then dehydrated and then you rehydrate it. You actually have to cook this one. So uh, about seven ounces of water, bring it to a boil, put this in, uh, turn down the heat, which with the stove I've got, I'm not gonna be turning down the heat, but I can take it on and off to kind of regulate the heat a little bit. Three minutes that way, bring it off, uh, add the powder that goes with it in, and then cover and let it sit for three minutes to, to do it. So really you're looking at about seven minutes. So we'll get the water on, get that going. Uh, I also have some Wisconsin cheese here and some grated Parmesan that I could add to it. Um, they sent those along for me to try out. Now, one of the things that's kind of interesting about this package is this package can be used as kindling uh, it can be burned and it has no oil, no foil in it. And that's why you don't actually cook in this bag. You actually have to cook in your pot. So I've got my 700 milliliter pot with me, my wide bottom, and that's what I'll be using today. So let's get it going. All right, so we're gonna do this together. I'm gonna rip this open. I have not looked inside of here. I don't know what it looks like. I'll pull this off the back. Let's rip this thing open. All right, so here is the the powder that's actually gonna make the sauce that goes with it. Got the oxygen absorber in there. And then I'm just gonna pour this out. You've got beef and broccoli bits in there, florets of the broccoli. Um, definitely some seasonings down there in the bottom. I don't know if you guys are gonna be able to see in there and see that, but um, looks like pretty good, pretty good uh, amount of meat in there which is something i like is that it has a lot of meat so all right i'm gonna get the water on uh-oh you know what i don't have lighter you know what i don't have lighter let me double check but i sure do not think i do sir there's a couple of them in the truck so i'm eating the cheese didn't taste pretty good, but slight oversight on my part is when you fly with uh, with your stuff, you don't bring a lighter, and um, I still don't have a lighter. Rayman doesn't have a lighter, so we'll try again on the next trip. We're gonna we're gonna go out and hike tomorrow, so I guess that's when we're eating that meal. So we'll have to hike out of here and go find a place to eat. Sounds like a bad thing, huh? Oh darn it darn yeah but it is it is spectacularly beautiful here uh we were up on the peak up above us now we're down here at this lake i mean it's just it's been a beautiful beautiful day weather couldn't be any better uh, i couldn't ask for more except for a lighter, except a lighter. yeah <laughs> all right so we're gonna give this another try and try and do dinner um and i brought a lighter so it should work out so let's get it going so hard because you can't see the flame. Right. Let's go. All right, so for this meal, it's 520 calories, and this is a one person serving. And so really it, it has quite a bit of calories. Uh, if you were out and you're one of those people that's hungry a lot, uh, maybe you get the two person serving and get like a thousand calories out of one meal, which is really good for a backcountry meal. Uh, I'll let you know how the serving size is. I'll let you know whether or not this is, uh, uh, I'm gonna be completely honest on how it tastes, um, so we'll see. But because we are a little bit higher in elevation, it does say to cook it a little bit longer, so we'll just kind of play this by ear and wing it, see what we do.
All right, so it's been sitting for a little while. It has thickened up a little bit. I didn't measure the water. I poured in what I thought was about seven ounces. Smells pretty good, fairly good, but it's got a lot. I mean, you guys saw the amount of meat that's in there. And then it's got the chunks of broccoli, uh, mostly broccoli stock, not so much the, the actual florets. But it's got a bunch of other spices and stuff in there that you can see kind of floating around. So I'm gonna get a, a spoonful with kind of everything on there. A little bit of the uh, sauce in there. I'm gonna take a couple bites, hand it to Rayman, let him get a get a taste, let you know what I think. It's hot. Hot? Mm -hmm. Like it's hot, hot. Mm -hmm. I think exactly what you <laughs> So, the, everything rehydrated really well. Mm -hmm. It's Lacking. It's missing something. Lacking. Like the flavors aren't rich enough. Like, I want it to be richer. I want it to, to have a little bit more hit me in the face with, with flavor. Um, I'll give another bite real quick. Let me blow on it, cool it off a little bit. Mm -hmm. All right, so we've let it sit for a little while and, and it kind of, the meat has absorbed it a little bit. Uh, it's gotten a little bit thicker. And I think my first comment was, was off. There is flavor there, but I think what we've come up with is that there's a lot of meat in there. And that meat isn't, it doesn't seem to be seasoned. It seems to be just meat. And so all of the flavor that you get comes from the sauce that's in there. If the meat was seasoned I think it would probably be a little bit better maybe even I I think the ratio of lowering the ratio of meat increasing the uh, the vegetables that are in there and I get that there's no uh, because of the one that I chose this is a keto no gluten uh, that's why there's no no noodles or rice or potatoes or anything like that to kind of have that starch that's in there that would kind of in my opinion bring it together um, but it's not bad, it really isn't bad. And when you get the sauce and you actually like taste the sauce, it's got some actually complex flavors that are really kind of pleasant. Um, I think that the, the meat just kind of, there's a little bit too much of it. It's not seasoned enough and that's, I think that's what I'm coming up with. Yeah. But as it sits, take another one. Huh? It, it definitely is coming it's coming together more as it sits, and I think. But also, as it sits, we're getting down to the bottom where there's more sauce, right. less meat. So maybe it's one of those that let it sit for a little while. Maybe let it simmer with the sauce in it uh, for a little bit more. But I, I honestly think it's coming together a little bit more. That's a good as flavor. It sits. Yep, it's not bad. It's better um, than a lot of stuff out there. It is better than a lot of stuff out there, and honestly, it's good enough that I'm going to try mm -hmm. other flavors that they've got and see how they are. Now here's the one downside and the one thing that, because this isn't a bag that you cook in, There's I now have downside. an extremely dirty dish that I've got to clean. And that's not something that I normally do when I'm out camping in the background, back country. So uh, that is a downside. That's exactly what I was 